if it doesn't kill you, it will give you very bad deafness or brain damage. It will be better always to prevent this infection. As soon as the vaccine arrived from Ouagadougou, and people are trying to prepare and to supply all the health facilities or the site vaccination. The current vaccine does not give a longer immunity. It is very hard every three years to organize a national campaign to prevent the population against meningitis. The introduction into the routine programs will ensure the elimination of the disease in the long term. This is Samba Koulibaly. In 2006, he was one of the first children to take part in a clinical trial to test a new vaccine against meningitis. His mother remembered how the disease had claimed her sister's life. <laughs> Samba was one of 600 healthy children in Mali and the Gambia to take part in the trial of the new conjugate vaccine. <laughs> The new vaccine was about to revolutionize the fight against meningococcal meningitis. This new meningococcal conjugate vaccine will help to better control the big epidemics uh, uh, of uh, meningococcal meningitis because the conjugate vaccine will give a longer immunity. The new vaccine targets serogroup A, the most common African strain of meningococcal meningitis. During Africa's worst epidemic in 1996, 25,000 people died. With funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Meningitis Vaccine Project was set up to find a more powerful weapon to fight the disease. It's a partnership between the World Health Organization and PATH. African public health officials uh, emphasized to the Meningitis Vaccine Project that vaccine cost was the main constraint to the introduction of new vaccines in Sub-Saharan Africa. So MVP found a vaccine manufacturer that could deliver at an affordable price. It has been the philosophy of Serum Institute of India to make the vaccines available to the poorest of the children of the world. With the Serum Institute of India on board, production began of the first vaccine custom made for Africa. A conjugate vaccine combining the meningitis bacteria with a carrier protein. It was far more powerful than the polysaccharide vaccines used previously. It is not really well understood why and how it gives better immunity. But the fact remains that the uh, antibody titer that is generated after polysaccharide vaccine and antibody titer that is generated after conjugate vaccine, there is a 
huge amount of difference. It could be 10 folds, it could be 20 folds, sometimes it could be even 50 folds. Not only is Menafrivac far more effective in curbing meningitis, it has another groundbreaking advantage. Most vaccines need to be kept cold from the point of storage all the way to delivery in the field, the so-called cold chain, a huge challenge in the heat of sub-Saharan Africa. In a country like Mauritania, cold boxes keep vaccines at the right temperature for only three hours, putting pressure on health workers to vaccinate quickly and causing many vulnerable people to slip through the net. Menafrivac is different. It can last up to four days without refrigeration in temperatures of up to 40 degrees Celsius, meaning many far-flung nomadic communities are now within reach of the vaccination teams. CTC has a lot of advantages, especially for Mauritania. You have more than 30% of the population who are beyond the five kilometers range, which means they do not have access to routine immunization. Menafrivac is the first vaccine license to be used in a controlled temperature chain, or CTC. Field workers are trained to ensure safe delivery. This indicator is blanc. Normally, it will continue to be blanc. If it becomes white, it means that the vaccine is blanc and there are no more vaccines that have been The vaccine labels turn black if they've been exposed to too high a temperature and a simple marking system ensures no vaccine is used over the four-day limit. I think it's very good. We remember all the collectives that have the Nations Unies, all the world remembers that. And thanks to that, we have a solid base on the health of the population. In countries where there have been mass vaccination campaigns, in countries where there have been mass vaccination campaigns, the disease has been virtually eliminated. Menafrivac had a major impact. A disease has completely disappeared in areas where the vaccine was introduced. We have not seen any single case among vaccinated population. September 2014, and Samba, who took part in early clinical trials, is nearly 10 years old. The vaccine that he helped to test is about to be introduced in routine immunization programs. Today, Samba is getting a visit from the new head of the meningitis vaccine project. Ça va, Monsieur Sidi? Oui, ça va, il bien. Vous savez, Samba, votre fils, c'est un héros de la méningite. C'est un des premiers enfants dans le monde qui a reçu le vaccin Menafrivac. Oui. Bon, tout le monde qui s'est passé dans la campagne. Yusu, Feta. Feta. Malado. Malado. Ouais. Aussi, quand il y a eu la grande et campagne en 2011, non 2011. Ouais. Ils ont fait la queue pour se faire vacciner. Ouais. Et ils ont reçu le vaccin Menafrivac aussi, alors. Voilà. voilà. For Dr. Preziosi, meeting Samba has brought home just how far the project has come. In those days, uh, way back seven years ago, we had absolutely no idea what would be the results. And now, uh, only seven years down the line, we have about more than 200 million people have received a vaccine across the entire meningitis belt. And also, it was quite important to see the sort of the ripples, even in, in his own community, because his sisters, his brothers, his friends have all received a vaccine during the campaigns and they have seen no epidemic ever since then. Samba's mother is proud of her son's role in the development of Menafrivac, and she's not afraid to champion its use in public. community meeting in Mali, traditional hunters dance to show their approval of the vaccine. Despite initial doubts, it is now widely accepted. Salifanai <laughs> 
2015, Mugolana From 2015, Mali will be one of the first countries in Africa to introduce the vaccine. Babies aged nine months will be given it along with other routine injections. For those involved in the vaccine's development, this is a huge achievement. It is very important for all the African countries to go for this vaccine, introduce it into the routine EPI, because meningitis A is just African meningitis. African leaders have called for these vaccines years ago. They have contributed heavily to the research to develop the vaccine, to license the vaccine. Now it's available. They should introduce it. I'm starting to see the end of the tunnel. I'm starting to see the sun. Because I have seen children dying from meningitis in this country not a long time ago. And I know that this vaccine is a very good vaccine. We make it. We did it. Let's celebrate this. A decade ago, children like these were at risk from the scourge of meningitis. Thanks to the vaccine, they will be protected for life.